morning. It's the 6th of October 2022. See you a bit. We're just down on the picket line, the BT Open Reach picket line in Rotherham. It's just started raining, so I've come in this bus shelter, but the picket line's up there. Uh, been quite well attended. Had up to 30 or 40 people there at one bit, but it started to drift now. Started to drift off now with the weather. And uh, I'll tell you what, this food bank Phil, Phil Jansen, he's not having nothing to do with these uh, pickets. They're not getting no extra money if it's left to him. And this is the greedy for crews on three and a half million pound a year. Just awarded his send a 32% pay rise. Uh, not bad if you can get it. They'll not come to the table, they'll not come and negotiate. They'll have no to do with these pickets. What they've done, they've imposed 4.8% on people. And that would have to know pay rise last year. Uh, take my glass off. Yeah, full bank fill the call him. He thinks it's okay to have full banks in exchanges. So staff can help us enter full. Rather than give him a, day, a decent wage, I mean, uh, I'm not sure how much they paid out to the shareholders last year, but absolutely fucking millions of pounds. I think it's something like £770 million to the shareholders. And, uh, well, 999, people who take 999 calls, they've been working during this strike, obviously, for obvious reasons. And uh, they pulled them out today, hopefully to get to... Uh, Philip, Philip Johnson, full bank and fill round table and negotiate pay rise for these lads. And the, the 999 calls have been covered by uh, by agency staff and managers. That's how intent they are on, uh, on not getting round table. These are the only people, BT, and all, all sites what's going on now. There's uh, Liverpool Dockers are on site, Liverpool Port, Felix Store Port's on site. Postal workers are on strike, post office staff are on strike, train drivers are on strike, RMT are on strike, the nurses, RCN, they are now voting, they're balloting the members, they've never been on strike, 106 years, they're 106 years since they were formed, they've never balloted the members have to go on strike, so the nurses aren't happy, the fire brigade aren't happy, teachers aren't happy, I don't think anybody was fucking happy. I'm making myself feel sad saying all this. But yeah, I was saying yesterday, uh, the chances of this government collapsing is big really, because with all these people on strike, as soon as they cave in and give one, one, one group of people a, a decent pay award, then they're gonna have to cave in and give them all a pay award. That's how it works. So it's lose-lose for the government and win-win for the strikers. Hey, uh, bro, you all right? I thought I were talking to myself for long enough then. Yeah, so it's lose-lose for the government and we're waiting for the strikers. Uh, like I said yesterday, the unions. Cheers, my old mate, good to, hear, good to see you watching and all. Like I was saying yesterday, the unions are the official opposition to this government. And uh, if everybody joins the union, don't bother joining the Labour Party, it's waste time. Join the union, it's about... If you're a patient and join units and it's 15 quid for life. Uh, if you're not working, it's cheap to join. It's uh, spread the word, get the Tories out, indeed. Let me get in the sense out, I'm telling you that, mate. Unions will get them out. Like I was saying, nobody's happy. Everybody's a thousand pound a year down. Together we are better, to right we are known. Together we're stronger and better. And uh, you know what, when they're on about, growth and uh, there's no money for pay rises because we need to grow the economy well there seems to be enough money to get ceos big pay rises bankers they can have big bonuses to pay the ben who do all the work at the bottom there's no money for them according to the people who are who are dishing it out i.e the ceos of big companies and uh, all the billionaires are telling us there's no fucking money for us is that because they've got it all i wonder like i said we're here uh, we're here in Rotherham on the on the open reach picket line. A lot of, a lot of people have drifted off because it uh, it started to rain. And uh, cheers, Maria. 
The good thing is for me, I'm not afraid of a bit of rain. This is positively uh, balmy to what it was yesterday. You know what I mean? Piss went through yesterday. Today we're all right. And like I said, there were 20 or 30 pickets in here. Uh, here earlier, they've drifted off. A couple of motorbikes didn't want to get wet. I'm on my motorbike, I can cope with it. Oh, that see. But yeah, I love our billionaires are telling the people at the bottom how to survive on fuck all. In fact, encouraging you. Encouraging you to, encouraging people to, to work for fuck all. You got Suella Braverman yesterday telling people on universal credit to get off the ass and get a job. What about them who's already got a job? Can you imagine going to work and when is that shit? Solidarity, Steve, lad. Tories out now, soon they're better. Yeah, they'll not be long, mate. Uh, can you imagine going to work and having, having to have your money fucking topped up with benefits? How sad is that? And then, all supermarket workers, Tesco, Asda, all them, Sainsbury's, they're all on 16 hours. We make all the wages up, the taxpayer. And then, they're fucking bragging at the end of the year, Tesco and all them, how much they've made. Billions of pounds, yeah? They will do while we're paying staff's fucking wages. It's a joke. But, uh, like I was saying earlier this morning, minimum wage should be 20. If they want people to get off the house and go to work, you need at least 25 quid an hour now. It's no good to go in, going to work and dragging a thousand pounds and then paying fucking 700 rent, 100 eating, 100 water, 100 this, 100 that. There's no one left. A thousand pounds is no good to anybody. 500 pounds a week's not enough you now. They need, well, like I said, minimum wage, 25 quid to 200 pounds a day, 1,000 pounds a week before tax, and that's the only issue. Unless you're down to 700, stay the way there when they take that off. And uh, 700 quid is not a lot of money now. Rents is like six and 700 pounds a month, 150 quid a week, 200 quid a week, depending where you live. Mortgage is going through the roof, petrol's going through the roof, gas electric's going through the roof. Tell me one thing what's coming down apart from fucking rain. And that's nearly stopped. It looks a bit blue on my shoulder. So yeah, join a union. And if you're in a, in a union and you're not happy with your wages, don't moan about train drivers and BT Openreach and any other worker that's getting money. Get off your ass and get on strike. Anyone here of Pit Factory? You can have not heard on it, uh, no. I'll have a look though when I get home. Uh, but yeah. I'm sorry for fair pay. What's wrong with that? Full bank fill, we him come to the table, we negotiate. Anyway, we've rambled long enough, haven't we? What time is it? Eight minutes. That's it. I'll be back tonight at eight o'clock, Thursday night live. Have a great day up to then.